ways we were missing some some good old favorites like peanut butter balls. So I tried to find a recipe that would kind of replicate that in a way. And I found these keto fat bomb something or others. I don't even know what they are for sure. But um, I thought, well, we'll try them. And then we'll give them a taste test and see how it goes. But um, of course, I don't, I don't follow, or we don't follow exactly the keto or the paleo or anything like that. We're just kind of doing a grain-free, sugar-free diet, and um, that that's working for both of us. And I don't, with colitis, I don't eat that much raw food. Um, I tend to cook a lot of stuff, but anyway, so let's get started with this. So we are going to put a quarter cup coconut oil in there. This is two tablespoons of stevia. Put that together. Just kind of made it chunky. Okay, we're going to add some whole eight ounces of softened cream cheese and a pinch of salt. say to freeze this until uh, you can make balls out of it easily, form it into balls. So it says like 30 to 60 minutes. So I won't bore you with watching the freezer while it freezes. Okay, the peanut butter and cream cheese mixture has been in the freezer for, I don't know, about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And um, I have melted you know, to make it the keto fat bombs or whatever, you need to do like sugar-free chocolate chips. But these are just regular old dark chocolate chips melted. There's a cup of them melted with um, a tablespoon of coconut oil. So here we go. Let's we'll see how this works. I don't want to make huge ones because I just don't like. I just don't like them to be that big. Yep, gonna need a fork or something to get that out of there. Alright, so I'm just gonna make these little balls, dip them in the chocolate, and set them back on that, and then you stick them back in the in the freezer for a while.
out of the freezer. Some of them look really nice and some of them look not so nice, but I really don't care that much. <laughs> I just wonder how they're going to taste. So here goes the taste test of the cream cheese peanut butter balls. I'm really not sure about the whole cream cheese and peanut butter. Mm. You can definitely taste the cream cheese. And I can tell the stevia and the not stevia Honestly, they're not too bad. I would out as keto fat bombs and cream cheese peanut butter bombs. Thanks for watching, making it work.